Alright people, I'm gonna talk about Deep Red, and let me tell you a little history about this movie with me. Um, the last movie I reviewed when I was DVD movie buff, alright, back in the early days when I started YouTube doing movie reviewing things, right? Um, this was my actually my last movie I reviewed in, in that era, and um, what happened was I never saved the video, and it was I was so sad because I had a great review on it, and I did not review who the killer was by the way, but um. Again, no spoilers, because, let me just say, when you talk about the Giallo movies, you don't want to tell people who the killer is, because it's going to take away the people's experience from the movie, you know? It's always good to know who the killer is when you first see the movie, and you're like, oh, what the fuck? You can't believe it. And Deep Red is one of those movies that the killer in this, in this movie is like the last person you would never, ever expect it, you know? And... That's the, this is why it's like probably one of my favorite. If you're gonna have a top 10 or a top 5 when it comes to the best Giallo movies, Deep Red would probably have to be on that list, in my opinion. Um, the movie has an intro. It's like somebody's getting killed, right? But you don't know who's getting killed. You know, you only see two shadow figures, one with a knife, killing somebody. And then you heard screaming. I won't say what the voice of the scream is, by the way. But it does not reveal who the killer is, by the way. You're going to get twisted. You're going to get mind fucked a little bit. Uh, okay, as the movie progress, you get to the present age. You got the scene with the psychic lady who predicted that a, she just sees, she sees um, excuse me, blood from someone of the audience member. And it's pretty obvious that, that the audience member is the killer. Now, now fast forward a little bit. The psychic lady goes to her apartment. The killer's going to kill the psychic lady because... Because the second lady didn't know who the killer is. So the killer killed the second lady. Meanwhile, you got the, this guy outside who lives in the building. And um, he's trying, he's going to run to the building to try and save the second lady. Because he saw the second lady getting killed, killed by the window. Once he got into the apartment, it was too late. The lady was, the lady was already dead. So the police comes over doing, doing the investigation. And... Um, and you kind of find out what's going on. And the uh, guy who's like a pianist, he plays piano, he teaches music pretty much. Um, he's like, he, he doesn't know what's, he doesn't know like who the killer is pretty much. So as the movie fast forward, he ended up starting his own investigation to find out what's going on, who the killer is, with the help of the reporter. So the reporters end up jumping in because the reporter wants to get the story pretty much. So, to fast forward again, the killers in this movie is pretty much going to kill anybody who knows who the killer is, you know, or who gets in the way of the killer. And I'm sorry for saying it like that, because I'm not trying to tell you who the killer is, I'm trying my best not to spoil it. Because again, I did two fucking takes in this review, and I reveal who the killer is, I'm trying not to do that. Of course you don't want to do that, like I said, it's a giallo. Um... And I like this movie so much because I like the plot, I like the twist, I like the chemistry between the lead actor and the female reporter, how they get along. Like, at first they don't get along, but you can feel the chemistry when they when, when they end up getting along at the end of the movie, you know, how they get used to, how they get comfortable with each other, pretty much. And I like that chemistry, it worked in this movie, and also I love the soundtrack, by the way. But anyway, while you got a cast of characters, you know... Uh, and you know what, what I like about this movie? It doesn't make you feel like, it doesn't give you that suspicion like, oh, that's the killer. This is the killer. Deep Red, that's how good this movie was, because Deep Red is like, it, it, it doesn't show you who the killer is. It, like, it's hard to, to take a guess who the killer is. You won't even know. But I tell you, when you, when this movie gets to the fucking ending, and I guarantee you, it's going to be the person that you at least expect, that you would not expect who the killer will be. And that's how good this movie is, because it doesn't, like I say, it doesn't give you that suspicion that, oh, you the killer, you that killer. Yeah, it doesn't give you that suspicion. That's how, again, it's amazing how this movie operates. Out of all the Giallo movies I've seen, and out of all the slasher movies I've seen, in the horror genre, or the Giallo drama style of the talent, the talent killing movies, murder, murder mysteries type of movies, it's like, you can always say, oh, that, like, point fingers. But this movie is hard to point fingers. Like, you won't know. But anyway, I want to try to progress a little bit more. Um, the, the piano guy, the lead, the lead hero in this movie, he ended up, like, doing his own investigation. 
he comes across this house, and he starts r breaking the wall down a little bit. Cause he knows that one of the in the picture of the house that it was missing a window. He ends up finding like a dead body in the house. He ends up finding like a drawing, and the house is pretty much it's pretty obvious that the killer probably drew what what, what the killer saw, an image that the killer saw. Um, again, I don't want to spoil too much, but um, when it gets to the grand finale, you are gonna be like, oh shit, what the fuck? Deep Red, just to fast forward now, Deep Red is a must see, you have to see this movie, um, I recommend it, highly, I highly recommend it, with confidence, okay, I'm not saying that as an opinion, I'm not saying that if you have to, or if you want to, I'm saying that you must see this movie, like, again, if you're a fan of, like, Slasher, or Jalo, or Murder Mystery, or Who Done It type of movies, Deep Red is going to deliver, trust me. And you know what? I rented this movie on Netflix, so you can, you can rent it on DVD. But I wish Netflix had it for streaming so you could check it out. But anyway, guys, peace. See you later.